How would you like to live to 150? 200 perhaps? Or even longer? While we may have given up on finding an actual fountain of youth, scientists think the secret to a long life lies deep within us. Unfortunately, some of our inherited genes may cause Alzheimer's, cystic fibrosis, or breast cancer. But on the plus side, hidden away in our genes lies the blueprint for a long and healthy life. Armed with this genetic data, scientists are attacking aging at the molecular level. They're regrowing our cells, tissues, and even whole organs. And ultimately, through gene therapy, they hope to design drugs capable of turning off disease-causing genes and turning on healthy ones. For decades, scientists have been investigating the genes that influence aging. In their quest, they've identified some microscopic superstars. Inside the nucleus of every cell are chromosomes, strings of genes that tell it what to do. Telomeres are regions of repetitive DNA sequence that work like the plastic tips of shoelaces to protect the ends of chromosomes. Without them, valuable genetic material would be lost during cell division. Trouble is, every time a cell divides, the telomeres grow shorter and weaker. Eventually, they become so short, the cell can no longer divide and it dies. Some scientists think this is what fuels the aging process. So they're trying to figure out ways to keep these cellular building blocks strong enough to hold back the tide. Not so surprisingly, things that are considered bad for us, like smoking, stress, and lack of exercise, take their toll on our telomeres. But there's good news as well. Namely, the telomeres can actually be lengthened by leading a healthy lifestyle. About 900 miles south of Tokyo, on the archipelago of Okinawa, is where people have the world's longest disability-free life expectancy, currently 81.2 years they have over 450 citizens who are at least 100 years old. The folks there don't exercise in the local gym, but their lives are very active doing what they enjoy. They walk, they work, they garden, they cook. They tend to have a plant-based diet, eat a little meat and drink a little alcohol each day. They never overeat. They have a strong sense of purpose. They put families first, take care of their children and their aging parents. Even so, most researchers believe that living to a healthy 100 years requires at least some sort of genetic advantage. And that advantage appears to be continually improving. So, genetically speaking, we're stuck with what we've got. Or are we? We're in the early stages of multiple revolutions in biology and technology. And at the center is the mother of all cells, the stem cell. When a stem cell divides, each new cell has the unique ability either to remain a stem cell or morph into another type of cell with a more specialized job, such as a muscle cell a red blood cell, or a brain cell. Researchers have realized there may be a limit to the number of divisions our stem cells can make, and that at a certain point, they must start to die from division exhaustion. If there's a limit to the life of stem cells, that means a limit to human lifespan. But what if you could replenish them? Scientists are learning how to chemically command stem cells to turn into any type of cell. These designer stem cells could eventually create an endless supply of replacement cells and tissues
to treat spinal cord injury, stroke, burns, heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis. A potential next step in this process, for example, is to generate healthy heart muscle cells in the laboratory and then transplant those cells into patients with chronic heart disease. Even now, the knowledge exists to slow the aging process to such a degree that you can be in good health when these more radical technologies become available over the next couple of decades. Hopefully, we can all look forward to our sunset years becoming a lot more sunny. <laughs>